Hello everyone. In this video we're going to be looking at the formation of a depositional coastal feature. We're going to be looking at the formation um, of sand dunes. So sand dunes, when you draw in the diagram, are formed of six types of dunes. And normally they start from a small and they get larger as they move um, in, uh, further inland. This is with the exception of the last dune, which is uh, slightly smaller because it's basically run out of sediment. Now the way that dunes are formed is they're formed by the wind picking up little sand particles and bouncing them uh, along the beach and them getting trapped um, by some sort of uh, feature that's found on the beach. They typically start from the berm, which is the upper part of the swash, and it forms this kind of like little ridge inside, uh, uh, sorry, on the coast, and sediment gathers there. Now eventually what will happen is that vegetation will accumulate on this berm and the vegetation will trap additional sediment and uh, these uh, little embryo dunes will then get bigger and bigger and bigger, they'll have even more vegetation on them and they'll gradually grow as they move inland. You can see over here on the diagram that we follow kind of like a young to old analogy running from embryo all the way to the mature stage. And as we move from the left hand side of the diagram to the right hand side of the diagram, you can see that they get older, the berm will turn into the embryo dune, which will turn into the fore dune and so forth. They also have increased vegetation coverage, which helps them to trap that sediment that we talked about. And because they have more vegetation coverage, the color of the dune slightly changes. It goes from a yellow sandy to a more nutrient rich gray, and then finally a brown soily um, composition. You can see from the photographs that I'm loading over here what each of these dunes look like. I'm labeling them one to six, and um, I've also added the slack over there, which is that section between the gray dunes and the mature dunes where water is actually trapped. So in photograph number one, you can see that berm, that upper part of the swash. You can see too that it's beginning to get more and more vegetation, and the vegetation gets denser and uh, has larger varieties of plants the further inland you move. Thank you very much for watching and have a really great day.